The newer ones that we've seen a lot of is uh, um, emerging technology, if you will, is laser scanning, where they can get accurate as built information like level uh, uh, 100, 200, 300. You can take what is out there in the field, you can do scans. Uh, some of them um, you have Leica, uh, or even you can use even uh, the latest uh, iPhones uh, or, or even Android phones to, to scan those. And then that maps into maybe a Revit or IFC models. You have drones, your you, you UAV drones that can capture construction construction process uh, progress, especially where you know people can't can get get to. Uh, you have virtual reality, you know, uh, which puts you in a simulated world. Uh, you do have augmented reality, which supplements the real world. And then you have the mixed reality. In this case, you have something like a HoloLens that we have, whereby the real and virtual was a kind of merge, and it's kind of like the precursor to metaverse, if you will. Right? You have 3D uh, 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 printing that's been, it's been done out there. Uh, you have robotics, uh, spot the dog and, and things like that. You have prefabrication that's going on. Uh, and then you have quantum computing, right? Whereby it's like, you know, you have ones and zeros or coined to, together and then you can process tons and tons of uh, information. So so that's 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 a whole lot of uh, big, big, uh, big, big trends. But in, in the interface of that, uh, you, you add the cloud, which basically gives you that, what we'd say flexible way to where you can um, spin up or, or spin down network compute and storage and the, the basis for a whole lot of, of of that and then you have the cognitive services and AI whereby you can use uh, models to actually predict or inform or um, make predictive, uh, prescriptive and then uh, models uh, which can inform actions. Mm -hmm.